My name is Adele and welcome back to Toadstool House Art. So, I'm um, not really sure what I'm going to be doing this week. Um, I'm kind of in the mood for, for cooking and things, so there might be some uh, of that in there. Uh, but before that, I've got, um, I'll pop some footage in of these absolutely teeny tiny like biscuit cutters. Um, I got them on Etsy, they're not from same place I got my frogs but they are super small and they're to make gingerbread people so <laughs> I thought they were really cute and I just I really wanted them um, and I've got some plans for what I'm gonna be making them into um, but I'm not gonna say just yet in case they go horribly horribly wrong um, so yeah that's sort of like the quick because I haven't done anything Christmassy yet really uh we haven't even got our tree up yet we just haven't had time to, to put it up uh even though i've seen people who have had their christmas stuff out since november <laughs> um which is a bit early for me i'm like sort of like december december is christmas time any time before that no not really not in, not in the mood <laughs> uh what else am i doing um i do have some mug orders that i need to get done uh, some personalised ones um, but I'm gonna give that a couple of days and see if I get any more because it, it makes more sense for me to do um, a batch of, of several instead of just printing you know like one so yeah so which I can't really show because I'm sure I'm pretty sure at this point they are Christmas gifts so putting them in the video is probably not uh, a good idea so yeah with those biscuit cutters um, didn't even finish what I was saying. With those biscuit cutters, I am going to do. Uh, I'm going to use them for Fimo. We make some tiny, tiny uh, Fimo gingerbread people. Um, so I will see how that goes. I'm probably going to get on with that uh, right now, actually, because I've got my Fimo just over to the side here. So yeah, we'll see how it goes. Hopefully, they will go well. If not, you won't see them again. <laughs> So thank you very much for coming back to the channel and yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. Alright, so I think I've got everything I need to get started to make some gingerbread people. So I'm using this colour because I think this is the closest to gingerbread I have. Um, it is a little light but Fimo does, after it bakes, it does go a bit darker. Uh, then I've got some sort of traditional Christmassy colours in red and green for the for the little extra bits and some white there. Um, I've also got uh, some little balls of foil and what this is for is for creating the sort of biscuit texture. Uh, I've also got a little toothpick that might help with that, I'm not sure. And, th Ooh, dear. <laughs> and this, um, to stop Fimo sticking to things, you can use corn flour, but I am out of corn flour so I'm using bread flour. <laughs> <laughs> so hopefully it will do the same job. That's just, just to stop it sticking to the um, to these cutters here because these are quite small. So I will be dipping those in there, hopefully. And I've got a brush here so I can brush this over the surface of the Fimo. Um, so that should help as well because working with tiny things with something that's even slightly sticky like Fimo, it, it, it might be a bit of a pain. So I've got that ready. Uh, yeah, so yeah, I think I'm going to start with the big one um, just because that's probably like the easiest to use and yeah, I'll see how I go from there. <laughs>
and here they are all done <laughs> so these are done with the the bigger cutter uh, and i really like this one with the bow tie on <laughs> i think he's really cute uh, they have sort of come out with this um like when you use corn flour it kind of gets absorbed uh, but since I used bread flour, it didn't. So that's why they've got like this sort of like white. Um, you can still see the powder on them. Um, which might go away if I decide to gloss them. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do. But I don't think it looks that bad. Because th these are just something for me. Um, you know, I'm not selling these. So I think it should be fine. And it does make them look more like biscuits, I think. Um, so yes, those are the ones with the big cutter. And then I did some on the medium cutter. <laughs> So I didn't do anything sort of fancy, I just gave them the three buttons. But they are so cute and like so tiny. I don't know if you can see sort of how small they are, but they are so tiny. But not as tiny as these. <laughs> now these are with the smallest cutter and they were very tricky to do all these all these details on. Um, but you can see how big they are. They're, they're like just a bit bigger than my fingernail. So these are absolutely tiny and I think I'm going to keep these uh, for me. I think these will make a really pretty pair of Christmas earrings. So I've got the three sizes done now. And these are just for a little personal project I'm working on. But uh, I need to get on and edit this vlog. So I'm not going to have time to do any more of it today. So you'll have to wait till, till next week to see what I'm actually doing. Because on the side here I also baked up a few just like plain... Uh, strips of uh, just just Fimo just like as it is just rolled out um, so if anyone can guess what I'm doing feel free <laughs> but I will I will do more you will see me do more of this next week but these are so adorable hold on let me see if I can put the three sizes together so that's one so you can just see how small they get yeah <laughs> absolutely tiny uh, it took me a surprisingly long time to do these like it took a couple of hours actually uh, you wouldn't think it would but yeah because all i've done is is like a handful of them but yeah i will get on with my project and you will see it all next week all right so for today's dinner i'm going to attempt to make a bubble and squeak because uh, we've ended up with two two cabbages this week um, so we need to sort of use one up quick because um, I think this one might be like last week's one but it's looking fine um, so the last time I did this it didn't work out so well <laughs> I kind of got the uh, the ratio wrong so they kind of fell apart when I tried to cook them um, so I'm hoping this is enough potatoes to the amount of cabbage uh, but we will see so yeah let's hope that my second attempt goes better because that was the first attempt was a long time ago so yeah, I'm gonna get all these peeled. Uh, I've got my, I've got two pots of water going at the moment, and yeah, I better get chopping stuff.
So the onions are still cooking down. Uh, I'm going to let those go for a little while longer. Uh, cabbage is draining over there in the colander. And for the potatoes, what I've done is I've added in some herbs, uh, some garlic powder, uh, some pepper and one oxo cube. So now I get to mash all this up. So the onions are done now, um, and they're nice and sweet, uh, <laughs> I've had it all on not to eat them all. Uh, the mash is ready to go, that's nice and cool now, um, as is the cabbage. Uh, I just tipped it onto a couple of uh, tea towels to dry out. Um, I'm not sure if this is too much cabbage or not, so I'm going to start mixing things together. Um, and if it doesn't sort of hold its shape, I might add in a couple of eggs, uh, but I'm just going to do all that now in this pan. everything's done um they came out really tasty they're not the prettiest but they're really nice um i did roast up some carrots cooked a bit of broccoli and this is just a cauliflower cheese grill uh, and yorkshire puddings because i was like ah why not <laughs> it's like that advert like it's only a tuesday um but now i'm going to try to go for a nice gravy shot so we'll see how well this works out Oh well. Oh, so yeah, <laughs> I've been in the kitchen far too long, so I am gonna go enjoy my dinner. All right, so that's just about it for this week. Um, I realise there's not a lot in this vlog, but I didn't really do much this week because this week has been the first time, excuse me, in a while that I haven't had to like plan for an event or do like one specific big thing for a while. So I've been able to relax. A little bit <laughs> in between you know packing my Etsy orders of course I still do all that uh, on that note my um, my 10% off coupon is still available that is available to the six till the 16th of December uh, it's just if you put when you check out if you put in toadstool 1021 you'll get 10% off your every everything the whole order there's there's no exceptions everything in the shop is 10% off um, with that code so if you want to use that you know get in now 
Um, so yeah, and I I've decided I, I am doing a, a giveaway after all. Um, so I wanted to do one before Christmas, and I think I should be able to get it just done just in time. So hopefully it will be up as you are watching this. I'm going to be doing it purely on Instagram. So if you're interested in winning some stuff, it will be over there. Uh, as of this moment, I haven't quite decided what's going to be in the giveaway, apart from one of my uh, Toadstool House mugs. Because these, these and the frog one have been very popular. Uh, people have been buying a lot of personalised ones from my shop. Um, so I, I just make this a little bit smaller and I pop a name underneath for people. So I've been doing that. Uh, but I want to do today actually. So I will be giving away one of these mugs and probably the matching pin, I think. And maybe some other bits in there as well. And it's just like a, a Christmas giveaway and because I passed... Uh, 500 followers um, a while ago but I kind of missed it because I was too busy <laughs> so I'll be doing that um, yeah in terms of stuff that's happened this week not a whole lot although um, in our hallway one of the floorboards had broken and fallen through underneath the carpet so there's a bit of a dip so my dad just fixed it the other day uh, so there was a hole in the hallway for a bit and we kept all the cats out of the way but Elsa snuck through <laughs> and she went down into the hole and got covered, her face was covered in cobwebs. Um, but when she popped back out again she was so happy because she's been on an adventure and it's oh so interesting. And then she comes to us and she's like meow meow meowing for a treat because she thinks because she's done something new and different she deserves a treat. And yeah we gave her one. <laughs> so it's, uh, she's normally the good one. The one that doesn't mess with stuff but no she was the only one that got under the floorboards ah dear that is not she's not the first cat we've had under the floorboards charlie has done it because in my bedroom uh, right in the corner in the alcove there's a slight gap where the pipes go down uh which you can't you cannot see um but it's, it's only about that wide if that and one time no he's done it twice where he slithered down there i've had to like block it off with some some towels because he slithered down there and he won't he won't come out so and he's done that in the bathroom as well because see he's the naughty one he's actually pulled the the side of the bath off because he can get his claws over the top and he, he's pulled it off gone under the bath and then he's followed the pipes down you know where the plug hole is he's followed them down and goodness knows where he went because he's done that a number of times so he's not done it in a while though but here little monsters god all of them all of them are monsters um yeah <laughs> oh my cat so this is what happens when you have four cats you know i mean salem's destroying uh the wallpaper there's a piece where it's he's pulled it off in the hallway uh and now he keeps pulling more off so you know <sighs> none of them have ever done anything like that but him ugh little monsters uh so yeah i think that's it for this week yeah just if you're interested in, in winning some nice things for christmas oh and it will be um the, give, the instagram giveaway it will just be for uk only because it's one it's a bit late for me to be posting out internationally for christmas i couldn't you know guarantee and i would like someone to have this for christmas but the keeper themselves will give it away um and also it's just a lot cheaper for me um i don't post my mugs internationally because um they could break i mean they could be fine but it's also quite expensive because of the weight and the size of the package would need to be with all the padding um so yeah sorry if you're an international viewer it is just uk only so yeah head over to instagram and hopefully you'll be able to see all the the different prizes there all right. Oh, and this is a new, this is a different jumper, by the way, than the one I was wearing at the beginning of the video. <laughs> and this, how many have I gone through now? I think I've only gone through four. I have way more, so if you're interested in seeing how many more of these I go through, uh, yeah, stay tuned. And yeah, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next week. Bye!